Hey, everybody, and welcome to Cozy Conversations. My name is Sarah. My name is Taryn. And we're just really excited to finally get the opportunity to do this podcast. Um, really, just the mission of the podcast is just to encourage other young people who are treading the uncharted waters of adulthood. <laughs> Yes. Um, and our verse that has just really been on our hearts for this podcast is Colossians 2, 2 through 3. And it says that their hearts may be encouraged, having been knit together in love and attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding, resulting in a true knowledge of God's mystery, that is Christ himself, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And I personally, I love this verse. Just, um, I love how it starts about talking um, about our hearts being encouraged and being knit mm -hmm. together in love. I think that's yeah. um, something we're hoping will happen with this podcast with other young people, um, that this would be a place that's encouraging for you. And um, the second half of the verse, just talking about, you know, having a true knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ himself, mm -hmm. um, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And, you know, it, in this day and age, we have we just have so, so much noise going on, so many voices yeah. within mm -hmm. the church, with outside the church. Um, and it's so important as young people that we are just steadfast in the word of God and continually mm -hmm. seeking him and um, asking for his wisdom as we, you know, make decisions and go about our daily lives. Yeah, um, for sure. I think it's really just that focus on like reading your Bible and just staying rooted into his word, because that's, that's where that all comes from. So Yes, absolutely. Um, so that's, that is really our heart behind starting this podcast is just a place um, where you can um, find some encouragement, find encouragement in your faith, you know, mm -hmm. um, as believers to continue to grow in the Lord. Um, and, you know, maybe you are just tuning in and you don't know the Lord, you know, we want to encourage you that um, there's a God that loves you um, mm -hmm. more than anything. And he wants nothing more than to be in a relationship with you. And you can have that through Jesus. Um, so that's kind of our heart behind this podcast. Um, we actually wrote out a little vision statement. So I'm going to just go ahead and read that. Um, as two young women, we understand the loneliness that comes with the seasons of change that young people experience. You know, maybe you just graduated high school and your friends are all going to different colleges, or maybe you are the one who went away to college and you miss your family and you haven't made new friends yet. Maybe you and your friends have just graduated college and everyone has scattered all around the world for jobs. And that's kind of where Sarah and I um, mm -hmm. are at in life. Um, maybe you just took a job in a new city and everything feels just really surreal and different. Um, in those moments when the loneliness creeps up again, we want this podcast, Cozy Conversations, to be there for you. Our hope is that you can turn on one of our podcasts and it feels like we are just sitting in your living room or your dorm room, sipping tea and chatting about life. Um, most of all, we hope to encourage you to seek Jesus and his presence in your life as he is the only one who can bring ultimately bring you fulfillment and joy. Yeah, I love that. I know we, <laughs> for those who don't know, Taryn and I actually a few years ago, I want to say like four years ago, we did a couple podcast episodes, which I felt like they were total train wrecks. Yeah, they um, were. <laughs> But it just it took kind a few of like years to regroup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of years. To <laughs> no, um, but it was just you know, it was just kind of like sitting in. If you were to have like turned on a recording device and recorded a conversation that Taryn and I had in our dorm room, that's kind of what that that those first couple podcast episodes sounded like, which was just pure chaos, um, in the best <laughs> way possible. But. Like Taryn said, you know, we just kind of want to just come back with an actual like structured podcast and to just go over to the model of what we want the podcast to look like, um, which is to be exactly what it is named, which is a cozy conversation. Um, life is a sweet mix of extraordinary moments made up of many ordinary moments. We want to do life with you on this podcast. We will be chatting about everyday things 
such as books, movies, and recipes we love. We also will be discussing bigger topics such as college advice, relationships, and money, just to name a few. And two things we will always do on this podcast is we will always share something that the Lord has taught us throughout the week. And we will always try our best to be an encouragement to you. And so that's just kind of what the podcast is going to look like. Just, you know, what each what each episode will sound like, too. Um, but there are a lot of themes that we want to cover, which I think Taryn's going to go over. Yeah, we've come up with um, a list of some that should take us for quite a while. Um, mm-hmm. You know, things such as college life. Um, you know, Sarah mentioned a few, like money. Um, we want to talk about relationships you know, friendships, family, um, you know, roommates, we've both had, um, lived with roommates for years. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, talking about, um, other things such as biblical womanhood, just a lot of topics that are really pertain to the season of life that we're in. Yeah. And we also want to bring in some guests too, um, which we're kind of just, you know, thinking and praying through who we want to invite on, um, into this space. Um, but just, you know, we also want you as the listeners to be able to, um, share any ideas of things that you want us to talk about and to go over. And we do have an Instagram, which is just at cozy dot conversation or convos. Wow. I'm already messing it up. <laughs> so just cozy period, just like the little period symbol and then convos c-o-n-v-o-s um on instagram so be sure to follow us there and send us a message and let us know what you want to hear from us um but taryn why don't you just start us off and just tell us a little bit about yourself and yeah yeah for sure okay so um I grew up um, in Nebraska um I grew up in a strong Christian family um I with my mom and dad, and I have a younger brother. Um, and you know, just, we were always involved serving at church, um, just doing ministry as a family. Um, and so that was just kind of a theme growing up for me. And, um, I'd always been very interested in music and just loved, loved being at church. So, um, about, when I was, I think 15 or 16, I was in high school. I just, um, was really growing in my faith. I was, um, saved at a very young age. Um, I was two years old actually. And I can remember the exact moment when I gave my life to the Lord and just realized I needed him. And, um, so I had, you know, been growing in my faith ever since then, but really started growing in my faith, you know, in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, when I was about 15 or 16, I just really felt the Lord, um, place the call to full-time ministry on my life. Um, and what better way to do that than through music, which is something that I was, um, had always, um, just been involved in and, um, had training in. So, um, I spent some time before college interning in the worship ministry of a church here in, um, Nebraska. And then I went to Liberty university and, um, got a, my undergraduate degree in music and worship, um, with a concentration in biblical studies, um, and just had an absolutely amazing experience at LU, um, loved every single class I took there and just really soaked up. I was so thankful the Lord just opened, the door for me to be able to experience that and have that ministry training from, from people that were just so in love with him and yeah. had so much experience and wisdom. Um, and so I love that. I made so many amazing friends, um, at Liberty, such as Sarah, um, <laughs> and just, um, had an amazing, amazing experience in the Lord really, really grew, um, my faith in him during my college years as well. Um, I, after school, I have been working on my master's degree as well in um, music and worship. I worked, um, spent some time working at a large church in the, um, in Tennessee. Um, and that was, that was amazing and um, loved the experience I had there. And right now I am back in Nebraska working um, at a small church um, here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, and so, yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Um, and I'm going to throw it over to Sarah. To... <laughs> and back to you, Sarah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, well, yeah, you know, we have very, this is probably why we're such good friends to the point of like sisterhood too, just because we have very similar upbringings. Um, I was also born into a very strong Christian family, um, strong Christian household. My dad's actually a pastor. So PK pastor's kid over here (laughs) but you know we just always spent a lot of time 
um, in full-time ministry and just at the church and just serving him and just the Lord um, really just used my parents to show me what a life of serving in ministry is like um, and also just a way of how to make your relationship with Jesus like personal so it's not something that you know, I, you know, I became a Christian, gave my life to the Lord when I was four years old at Vacation Bible School. Um, and I have always known that I have, I gave my life to the Lord because I felt him calling me, but not, it's not something that like my parents ever forced on me, um, which I'm, I'm grateful for that, you know, for that, definitely. Um, but yeah, then I, um, we moved around a, a couple times just with my dad's like different pastor positions that he had and just learned a lot about different types of ministry and different types of churches um just learned a lot of lessons about like ministry and church life in general through through that uh, but then I came to Liberty um in the fall of 2017 and I don't know if I said this but I'm originally from California so that was definitely a big move and I know and with Taryn being from Nebraska like we both had to get on planes to like <laughs> come to college. So um, we definitely also connected on that too. So um, yeah, so then, you know, at Liberty, I studied um, my undergrad. I got a bachelor's of science in Spanish. Um, and then I started working on my master's, doing my master's in professional writing. Um, and I work full-time for Liberty now. So um, this is kind of just where I'm at. Um, I hope to one day somehow be a writer in any capacity so we'll see about that but yeah you know just kind of how our friendship started I was thinking about this before we started recording just how Taryn and I just how we started becoming friends um we met in Mr. Randlett's now Dr. <laughs> Randlett so congratulations shout out to, to Dr. Randlett <laughs> <laughs> yep um his music theory class 8 15 first <laughs> class of the day um and I was trying to remember we had to exchange numbers because there was like a homework assignment where we needed to like have another classmate like sign off I don't know if you remember that Taryn yes yes and I remember I was in the rot which for those of you who aren't familiar with liberty the rot is our beloved uh, dining hall um and we call it the rot for some reason I don't really know but that's what we call it <laughs> um I was in the rot with a few friends and ran into Taryn and I think you were eating by yourself so I was like Taryn um like join us for lunch or whatever and then I think that's when I was like well we need to sign off on each other's like homework so why don't we exchange numbers so we did that and then I remember we did the homework assignment and then I remember being in a practice room oh also to know I got my minor in um, piano performance at Liberty so that's how where the music part comes in um, and I was in one of the practice rooms at Liberty and I was just kind of sitting there and my aunt Diana um, was texting me like do you have any plans this weekend it was like my first weekend that I didn't really have too many plans and um, I don't remember how she like knew about you Taryn but she was like why don't you just text that girl in your class and ask her if she wants to get lunch and I was like yeah I don't know like I don't know will she think I'm cool or <laughs> she seems like really put together yes, and, I'm she just, will. <laughs> and I'm just you know whatever and so she's like just do it you know you never know what happens of it so I texted her I texted Taryn um and she was like yes let's get for lunch let's get lunch together um so that's kind of where that started I remember getting lunch with you and this is kind of not weird but I remember you we sat down with our food and I always like even if I'm in public I pray before I eat my meal and I remember you being like, let's pray. I'll pray for us. And you just immediately, and I just kind of was like, hmm, she's going to be a good friend. I can already tell. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I remember that too. You know, um, obviously it was in like, it had to have been our first, what, two, three weeks of school. Yeah. It was remember, very early I feel on. It's like it was the first weekend of September. Yeah. So very early on, you know, we're all trying to make friends and just figure the whole new college thing out. And mm -hmm. so um, I met Sarah, I was like in class, obviously I thought like, oh wow, she's really sweet, you know? Um, and then I remember specifically 
like the day you texted me and said like, Hey, would you like to get, you know, we should get lunch or whatever. And I remember calling my mom and I remember I was just like, wow, like she wants to hang out with me. Like somebody actually wants, like, I didn't have to ask, you know, like she wants to hang out with me and go to lunch. (laughs) And so I remember, um, just my personality. Sometimes it can take me a little bit of time to click with people. Um, I can be a little bit, a little bit shy when I first meet someone. And so Mm -hmm. I remember it was just crazy to me because we went out to lunch and we sat there and we talked for like two hours. Mm -hmm. And it was like, so easy. Like conversation was easy. We were having so much fun. And Mm -hmm. I just was like, wow, this is going to be an amazing friend. And no, we were right. (laughs) I think that was the time we realized we both liked Hallmark. Yes. Yes. That was a bonding. bonding We talked about when calls of the heart, the show. Yes. And I was like, oh, there's another girl that likes these cheesy movies. (laughs) Yes. And then, you know, moving on, we started having movie nights regularly Mm -hmm. (laughs) to watch said homework shows. And, um, (laughs) of course at that time we, um, we were not roommates. Um, and Mm -hmm. it was just, we always talk about this and laugh. We used to we'd get our snacks together. We'd put on our sweatpants. We'd get our lap. She would, she always supplied the movies on her laptop because her aunt was able to record them for us. So she would get her laptop and we would literally like scope out campus for a good place where we could sit and watch movies and feel like (laughs) we're both a little bit on the introvert. So we have introvert tendencies, I would say. So like when we're chilling, we want to be, feel like we're in our safe little private area. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. so we would always try to find some place on campus that was secluded enough where we could watch a movie and not have people come up and talk to (laughs) us. I just remember the adventures of trying to find the good places to watch movies. And so, um, (laughs) Yeah. And then, so that was our first semester and we realized right away that we wanted to be roommates. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we started praying about that. And um, the second semester we had the opportunity, Liberty will allow you to um, each semester, if you want to try to change and move into a different dorm room, you can. And so we decided we would try to be roommates and just started, but Liberty has a very full campus. Mm-hmm. So we were like, the chances of this happening is like, you know, yeah. yeah so we just were praying we're like man this would be amazing if we could be roommates and we wouldn't yeah. have to try to find movie watching spots outside in the walk in the cold back to our dorms we could just right. watch movies in our dorm together <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I remember because we both had like at the time not great roommate situations um which were really tough to like navigate um but I remember one of the girls on my hall told us that two of the girls had moved out because the halls of the dorms that we li- were living in um they're what they call hotel style dorm rooms so there's like two people per room when you share your own bathroom um and so we I remember being um in Miss Laird's music theory class and like emailing her the day before and saying okay at nine forty-five, Taryn and I have to try to sign up for a room together so that we can yes Um, and it worked out and just the timing of of it all was perfect because that that second semester of our our first year um was really tough for me just because that's when my grandma passed away back back in California um and um the Lord just like really just the way he like allowed us to get the room to find out that the room was empty to allow us to get the room to move in Um, and then just right before like my grandma started passing away um, it's just like the Lord just brought everything together and I'm just really grateful for for that memory and for having Taryn there um, during that that really hard time Um, but yeah then just after that it's just kind of history you know (laughs) oh yeah for sure we grew extremely close Mm -hmm. and we roomed together the last three years of our about three years, roughly yeah. three years yeah. <laughs> at that point of um being in college. And um I mean it was a blast, mm-hmm. you know, we just it was so easy, so fun. Yeah. We made so many crazy fun <laughs> memories. <laughs> yep. And um like making popcorn at like midnight <laughs> and then Taryn <laughs> drops the whole bag of popcorn. <laughs> all of it all over the floor. <laughs> And, and we, we just, <laughs> just bounced on it like yeah little rabbit eaten. animals <laughs> like we hadn't eaten a meal in 
weeks. I know. We so just funny. sat there eating it off the floor. <laughs> At like 12.30 in the morning. I know. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, that's a fun memory. You know, facing another fun memory that sticks out to me is our first experience with a hurricane. <laughs> oh my goodness the hurricane so, well there's yeah. a couple experiences yes, yes the hurricane that was supposed to be and the hurricane that actually that actually was, was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they had forecasted this hurricane um and you know I'm from Nebraska Sarah's from California we yeah. don't have an extremely we we don't I don't think either of us had ever been through a hurricane no yeah no. we don't get hurricanes in California yeah Just the so occasional earthquake <laughs> and fires <laughs> but you know <laughs> Yeah, so we have this hurricane bearing down on campus and our moms are, you know, they're concerned a little bit mm -hmm. because they're like, you know, there's things you need to do for a hurricane. Like you need to make sure you have water. You need to make yeah. sure you have food. Like, you know, there's a huge campus full of kids. You need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And Sarah and I, we just start getting a little bit like, let's say we start to get it's a little bit overwhelmed. You know, we're just like, yeah. we've never done this before. Like, what do we need? What right. happens in a hurricane? I and remember <laughs> Virginia's governor at the time had actually issued a state of emergency. Emergency, so right. That it's kind of what I think kicked us into action yeah. at that point. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> we need to be prepared. We so were at we, the raw, weren't we? We were. We were eating <laughs> lunch. And I remember you came in after talking to your mom and I had just gotten off the phone with my mom. And I was like, Sarah, we have got to, we've got to prepare for yeah. this. Like, <laughs> And so we emailed our professor and to, we have a certain amount of skips we can use for classes. We were about to go into choir together because mm -hmm. we were in choir at the same time. Yes. And we were like, we're going to use a skip today because we need to go <laughs> buy some water and food. So we went to Dollar Tree, I think it was. And because bought... your mom called and found out. Yeah, they I found had out they had water, water. bottled yeah. water. <laughs> so we went, we got some bottled water. We got some, I think we got peanut butter peanut and a butter. loaf of bread. And like chicken packets. Yes. <laughs> Just Disgusting. in case the power went out for like yes. months or whatever. Yeah, I guess we, we were preparing for the apocalypse, I really yeah, think. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep going. <laughs> okay. So we get back and no hurricane happened no, that weekend. Not it, even everybody to our listeners. Not even a <laughs> drop of rain. No drop. <laughs> In all fairness, it's because it went south and it hit North Carolina right. and yeah. they had terrible flooding, but did, yeah. we had nothing. But they did cancel like a day and a half of school. They did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I was sick too that weekend. So it like worked out perfectly. Yes, it did. The, the peanut butter and, and the bread sat bread. on our shelf for the rest of the semester. Yep, but that's what I was going to say earlier. <laughs> and the chicken packets. Yes gross oh disgusting <laughs> I was like Taryn will actually eat this <laughs> I was like I will swim to the rot <laughs> and the thing too is the dorm we lived in at that point was like on the complete opposite side of campus than like, yes the rot was but then right. later later that semester there was a hurricane that actually we skipped that choir class again so we yes, could go we back did. to our dorm room because it was storming and so bad it was so bad and I remember people had like the college for a weekend mats that they use for students oh, yeah. coming to like visit campus they were going down like hills like sledding yes and Taryn and I are walking we got pizza at Pizza Hut and we were like walking like holding on to each other because yeah. the wind was just so bad in the rain <laughs> yes good well, they memories didn't cancel school there then no no yeah they didn't that was disappointing yeah. so that we survived. Fun. We lived to tell the tale. We did, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's just a that little... loaf of bread. <laughs> I know. It's probably still hanging around someplace. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the type of bread that ever disintegrates. <laughs> no, uh-uh. <laughs> Dollar <Yeah>. Tree bread. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So that's some fun memories of um, us of being roommates. Living together. We have many more. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Which I'm sure they'll come up throughout the course of this podcast. I'm sure that they will, yes. Yeah. Um so Sarah, let's <laughs> let's um jump into um tell me about some of the books that you've been reading or the shows yeah. you've been watching. <clears throat> yeah, so this like... is kind of oh go ahead. Sorry. No, <laughs> you I was like, I feel like that constitutes a lot of our conversation just as friends anyway In general, just, yeah. yeah that's why that's 
um something that we're gonna like incorporate into this mm-hmm. podcast just because Taryn and I are big readers um and big show watchers yes I guess um but yeah you know right now I have been I started off 2023 strong in the terms of reading I read a couple books like right off the bat and then just with like work and school picking up again I feel like I haven't had like a chance to like sit down and read um but right now I'm going through a couple of books um the first one is called Silent Shadows by Christian romantic suspense author Natalie Walters um and I'm really enjoying it it's the third of a series um of one of her series and it's pretty good yeah just mystery um you'd really like it Taryn just kind of like I want to read it yeah it's really good um, and then I'm also reading a fantasy novel by self-published Christian author Alyssa J. Zavalianos, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing Love that, that name. Correctly. I know, right? I'm pretty sure I'm pr- pronouncing it correctly. But um, like I said, I've actually been following her on Instagram for a while now. Um, and she, like I said, she's a Christian self-published author. So she doesn't have like an actual publishing house that she goes through um but she just publishes her books on her own which is really cool um so reading through those uh, as for shows that I'm watching um okay I'm totally blanking oh I just started NCIS the other day oh because um coming as a recommendation from a good friend of mine Bethany um <clears throat> besides that I'm waiting for Outer Banks season three to release, which I think is coming out this Thursday. Um, oh, and I have been, this isn't necessarily like a show, but for those of you who don't know Taryn and I, well, we are into <laughs> kind of keeping up with like true crime. Um, yes, yes. To an extent. Um, so the Alex Murdaugh trial has been going on. Um, and I found out, I realized yesterday that I can watch it live on YouTube. Um, so I was watching that and it's fascinating. I actually, I love like the whole court system. I don't know what to call it. I can't think of the word, but like, for instance, I did jury duty last December. Yes. That was very exciting for you. (laughs) That was like the coolest thing I ever had to do just because, just being in there and like hearing from the witnesses and like the different testimony, like watching um, body cam footage. um, It was just really fascinating. So I've been watching the Alex Murdaugh trial. If you're a listener and you're not really sure what that is, if you want to look that up, go ahead. Um, But highly fascinating, just really interesting. The whole, the whole process of this trial um and we're recording this just to let our listeners know it's actually february 18th um but we're releasing this like in april um our this should be april 14th today when this is being dropped it's so exciting i know right so i don't know how like the the trial is gonna be at that point in time but currently that's what i'm keeping up with but taryn what about you what are you reading what are you watching Well, I'm like Sarah. I also enjoy true crime, also enjoy fictional crime. <laughs> and right fake now, crime. Yeah. Right now I'm reading um a book called Trapped by Irene Hannon. Um, mm-hmm. she is a Christian mystery crime fiction author. Yes. Um writes really good stuff. Um, this is the second one in one of her series. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like her the first one in the series was um just really deep psychologically Mm -hmm. I guess um a lot in you know looking a lot more into like why the killer did what he did etc this one is a lot more um action and um so I've been really really enjoying reading this um yeah it sounds um, really good sorry yeah I I want to pick it up that's one Christian author Christian like suspense author I haven't read yeah, I highly yeah. recommend. She's a good writer and um yeah, really good with suspense and and she also I think she does a lot of research on like the procedures that go into um you know, like like these are about private investigators who all have a background in like different 
government agencies such okay. as secret service and stuff so That's you get cool. to learn a lot um you know she she seems to put a lot of um research into her books so yeah. I'm enjoying that um as well yeah so that's really cool huh are you what what have you been like watching oh um a fun show that I have been watching this is actually really sweet um I've been watching it with my mom um and we watched it together last winter and then we watched a few episodes this winter and it is um Mary Tyler Moore mm -hmm. <laughs> old show very classy very cute um and I just find myself relating to her so much it's about this girl who <laughs> um she works in a news office and she's moved away from home and she um is living in a new city and just trying to she has her best friend lives upstairs we got to get that going Sarah we, we have move to, to the get same that going. city yeah oh my goodness. live in the so same fun. apartment complex <laughs> That'd be um, so, fun. so it's just a really fun light-hearted show and so I've been enjoying enjoying watching some of that nice. with my mom <laughs> that's cool yeah so one thing that we're going to do on this podcast is mm -hmm. um, we want to ask each other a question at the end of the podcast every time. So um, going with um, our theme, we've come up with a question to ask. So I'm going to throw it back to you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> what sounds cozy to you right now? That's a great question. <laughs> We came up with that. No. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, you know, like I was saying earlier, I haven't really had time to just sit down and read. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, I'm just coming out of a busy season with work and uh, go also going into another busy season with work. Um, but I really just haven't had time to like sit down and read just for fun. And another thing on top of that too is, um, as Taryn knows, but... I write. I'm a writer. I have all these aspirations for a great writer. Wow, thank you. Um, all these aspirations for like publishing different types of books, um, which we'll get into later. But um, I really just haven't had a time to write too. So I kind of just want to just take a day or even just a few hours to just write and read and just relax. But Taryn. What about you? What sounds cozy to you right now in Nebraska? Uh, to me, okay, so we had about mm, probably yes, eight to did. 10 inches of snow this yes, week. I so I am hunkered down at home today and there's a bunch of snow outside. So I think what sounds really good to me, what I am headed to do after we finish recording <laughs> this podcast. You're like, is... let's wrap this up quickly now. <laughs> No, but I have a book. Um, I might read this tr um crime fiction book I was talking about, mm -hmm. or um, my mom got these really cute Christian like fiction snowed in books about these Ooh. couples that get snowed in together. So rom com action. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I might take a break from my um crime fiction and pick one of those up, but you know I might make some hot chocolate or some hot Ooh. tea. Um and cozy up under a blanket and do some reading that sounds so good <laughs> that is my plan for the afternoon I love that <laughs> yes that's cool well I guess this kind of concludes our first podcast episode yes this one went much smoother than <laughs> the first podcast episode we did four yes. years ago yes if anyone scrolls back far enough on our, Insta our our Facebook pages yes you'd be able to find that so if you are up to the challenge <laughs> Then have at it. It's like less than eight minutes of just pure chaos. Yeah, it was so rough. I'm, I'm proud of us. We actually I am so proud did this. We did. We had a plan. We executed the plan. We didn't I think sound it went complete. well. I don't know. Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh. Well, Taryn, this has been fun. Yes, this has this been so fun. Conversation. Yes. Everyone. Follow us on wherever you listen to your podcast. I think for sure it should be on Spotify, which is probably how you might be listening to it now. But follow us on Instagram. I yes. know we're going to, we haven't done Facebook yet, but that that's going to be started here soon. Yes. Um, let us know if you like it. I mm -hmm. don't want to be like, like, comment, and subscribe, but that's, you know, <laughs> that's what they all say, isn't it? Yes. Um, but yeah. Also, this our is plan is to release one a week. Yes, every right? Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So we're looking like forward. 9 a.m. Because our hope is that like 
it's Friday. It's the end of the week. Mm-hmm. You just need something to listen to. Oh, here we are. <laughs> yes. We know a lot. We know how our weekends have felt so many times just oh, yeah. in these times of transition. And so yeah. sometimes you just, you need, you need to listen to something fun yeah. on the weekend. So we for sure can help with that. <laughs> yes, definitely. But Taryn, this was really fun. It was. Until next time. Until next time. Stay cozy. <laughs> Stay cozy. <laughs>